it's a scroll box so yesterday I got one of these in the mail I'm very very excited because this is the first ever scroll box that I've ever open so I'm very excited so what am I doing um, getting some cutty things and we shall dive into this and I'm pretty sure it's yeah it's October's it's October's scroller box so um, yeah I don't know what's in it but we'll shall find out just before I cut it open the first thing I've noticed is it's very thin it's very thin and it's very very light like I can't believe how light it is so yeah, I'm definitely um, curious to know what's inside this for being such a light parcel but then again I suppose art supplies aren't that heavy are they <laughs> hey let's dive in This is very exciting. Oh, I see uh, a Derwent pastel sharpener. I've actually got a set of Derwent pastels and this box has come a long way too from the UK to Australia. It's come from the mother country to the little sister country. Is that what we class as? I won't pull it out like that. Ooh, little fancy sticker. Just gonna tear it. Ooh, Ooh it's candy. Menthol eucalyptus. Ho oh, ho A koi? Koi coloring brush pen? Secure color. Oh, that sounds. Bit flash. Stedler. Tradition. HB pencil. Oh, that's cool. A sticker. Neat. What have we got here? Fine art pencils. Derwent. Six art pencils. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Oh, look at these bad boys. Wow. Mid-Ultra Marine. Midnight Black. Wheat. Yellow Ochre. Sandstone. Champagne. All right, let's have a look at this. Oh, October's theme is a life aquatic. Oh, oh wow what oh we got some more stuff oh here we go featured artist Judas Selleck I presume that's how you say it I've never heard of her but I'm going to go and have a look at her social media oh, that's very pretty it's a shame I can't do lovely nice things like that and oh okay so we've got two colored bits of paper we've got like a yellow and a cream oh wow so these pencils are actually oil based that's interesting i have never had much to do with oil anything <laughs> so this this is this, this <laughs> terrified and this koi sakura koi coloring brush pen is actually a blender that's that's cool facilitates smooth blending and layering of colors try lightly softening and blending your pencil colors with this handy pen 130 gsm sheet in two colors so apparently this is a popular choice in paper for people who use pastel pens but it's yeah it's like textured paper this is really weird because I don't do a lot of aquatic themed things uh, so this is gonna put me right out of my comfort zone here with 
with this but hey I'm up for the challenge I'm here to broaden my horizons I am here to grow as an artist so this is this is great this is this is a great challenge um, I just don't know what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna have to think about it off with the thought processes matter so the the idea that I have is well I'm not gonna I'm gonna keep it a secret at the moment but I'm just gonna see how these these um, pencils blend together with this and how it's all gonna go because um, for the idea that I have I'm hoping that this is gonna work so with with this pen here it says in the tips um, I read that you blend it from light to dark so I'm gonna try that and just see how that looks because I just want to get familiar with these um, how, or how these things work Ooh, no, that is not the paper you use to blend these. That's just torn that up. That is bad. Now it's all over the tip. Oh, I don't know if that was meant to happen. And that, boys and girls, is clearly why you don't use printer paper for this. You use a more sturdy paper because that was an absolute disaster. Let's do some normal swatches just gonna keep this close what I'm going to be doing today what I'm thinking of doing is a I'm sort of trying to channel the black lagoon monster type um, drawing so I'm not going to sort of do that exactly because I know that the, these colours here, are, I don't have the colours really to do him. So I'm just sort of going to be channeling that monster energy from him. Still a bit of brainstorming here. There's some really freaky looking piranha looking monster. So we have some uh, dragon type tail. <laughs> uh, not really liking the face. Or fishy face. I think I just need to shorten the snout. Ah, there we go. Really have that piranha look. Something like that. I'm thinking. This is a little intimidating, to say the least. All right, now to transfer this idea to paper. You know what? I always work with this color paper, so this is something different. So I'm going to use this one. Oh, I hate it when my sketches always look better than the actual drawing that I do. I like that better. And it's not what I've drawn here. Alright, oh, well, the only thing I can do is start colouring it and hope to God that it starts to look better than this. Because this is just this is ridiculous. putting a bit of detail in here now just trying to pull it all together and hoping that it's it's gonna start looking all right because I feel like I'm failing at the moment let's give him a nice black so does I did you really expect anything else from me <laughs> Mm. 
Look at him, that cloudy look in his eyes like fish have. Make him look blah, really gross. Right, let's add the blue for the water. I'm hoping the colorless blender is going to save me here. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. I don't know really. I don't really know what I'm doing. Just winging it. I'm not religious, but I'm just going to say a little prayer and hope to God the colorless blender saves me. See this? Zoom in. Just getting a little there. Uh, blending going on here. It's it's okay. I I don't know if I'm using it correctly. Um, but yeah, I thought it was going to be a little bit different than what I'm seeing here. But I've never used blenders before, so this is a complete learning curve, and mistakes will be made trying something different here because I'm not happy with the outcome of the blue. What if I'm making this worse? <sighs> right, let's remake this colorless blender work for its money. This is going from bad to worse. <sighs> okay, let's see how this is gonna go. I'm just trying to save what's left of my art dignity at the moment. Okay, so I'm not getting the effect that I want. But see, uh, like I said, I've never used this before, so I. I don't think I know how to use this properly. I'm gonna to have to Google it and you know get a bit, bit better idea on how to use this thing because uh, uh, this is this has not turned out the way I wanted it to. I can say this is a fail, a massive fail. Clearly pastels are not my strong point. I think, I think I'm done. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop before this just gets way too out of hand with crappiness on my behalf. So what do I do? Continue colouring. I'm pretty sure a two-year-old could draw better than that. But that is my end result of using these Pencils. Let's try this. Mmm. That would be perfect if you have a sore throat. Mmm. That's good. That's very good. Look, not my finest moment. I clearly need to work on pastels. Pastels are not my strong point. As you can see in another video that I did ages ago. Um, and yeah, this I'm going to have to Google because I clearly don't know how to use it. So this will just be a work in progress. This I've got another bit of paper in the box. Oh, there's candy. Mm. So yeah, that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed watching me fail and watching me on this scroller box journey of going completely out of my comfort zone with these, you know, these things here. Sorry, this lolly is really good. 
if you want to purchase any of these I'll have the links in the description and I will also have um, the link for the scroller box so you can get your own scroller box subscription as well I'm going to retreat and feel extremely bad for this picture that I've done but the candy is definitely easing the pain I'll see you next time Peace. Thank you.